What up, citizens, and welcome back to La La Land. It's your boy, Dustin, and your girl, Veronica, and today we're on a journey, okay? <sighs> Fast forward, your boy got an audition. I need to be, like, in Michigan blue. However, I live in Los Angeles, and nobody gives a damn about Michigan blue out here, so I am on a journey to find a Michigan Wolverine t-shirt, sweatshirt, cap, whatever cuz um, and that's really really hard you know cuz though I get down with the blue you know what I'm saying there's no Michigan blue out here so we're at the mall right now and we're gonna be looking I don't know maybe like a Foot Locker some kind of sports maybe like Dick Sporting Goods or some some sporting goods sh shop something somewhere hopefully we'll have something Michigan because when you go to these auditions like a lot of the casting directors expect you to like dress in theme so if the theme is like a college student or whatever the case may be and it's your college student and you go to this school whatever the case may be you have to like live it up and like play the part a hundred percent you have to sell it so that's what I'm doing today and I'm with baby lips and she's here looking weird as hell shocker I knew about that I knew about that are you confident my love that we're gonna find some Michigan blue today not here but I think I know where you can find it what so uh, and this is why I love my girl. Like, she told me to come here. <laughs> I didn't tell you to come here. You said I should look at the mall. And I said, okay, because we're about to pass it. But I told you where I think you can find it. I told you you should go to Melrose. I really did say that. Don't act like I didn't. She didn't say that. Anyways, guys. Yes, I did. Okay. Anyways, guys. So, here we go. Embrace yourself. I don't know if we'll find it. Apparently, I should have went to Melrose. Okay, guys. So... We're at a place called Lush for bath bombs. I know we're supposed to be getting me some uh, Michigan Wolverine gear, but Baby Lips wants to come here and get some bath bombs because story of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, the native lady in her natural habitat. It is mating season at the, the home of this creature and she creates scents to attract the male. Guys, so these are like little bath oils that you massage yourself with in the bathtub. Baby Lips got all four of these right here. And like, guys, look at her, look at her. She's, look at all the bags she got. She got me holding bags, cuz. Lush, y'all need to sponsor these damn videos. If you guys don't know what these little balls are, you put these in the bathtub and it creates like the most obnoxious bubble baths and like fragrances out of this world. And in all fairness, some of this stuff smells good. One of these balls will tax it like, I mean, that's nine bucks. It will tax it down to $10 for one of these balls. I'm just saying. All these bags, huh? No shame. You know what's funny? What's funny? Is that you will probably use at least half I don't bathe. I'm a shower guy. I'm a shower guy. I don't bathe in the shower. <laughs> Veronica's trying to convince herself that I love bubble baths and she's buying this stuff for me. She's a, I didn't say that. You said I love baths. I do. No. I don't love getting in stewed bath water. We're just stewing in our own filth. I like uh, seeing you bucket ass naked. <laughs> bucket ass naked with bubbles and suds all on you. That's why I get in the bathtub. And it's nice, guys. All right, fam, do me a solid. Look how many bags my girl has. Honey, show them, come on, come on. Secure the bag, fam. Once again, the objective of us coming here was we are supposed to be getting me a Michigan Wolverine shirt. Stop being selfish. Did you tell me to stop being selfish? <laughs> wow. After we just closed the camera, my girl asked me if I should get a candle from Bath & Body Works. This woman is trying to set the mood, cuz. It is cuffing season in our house. She's getting baths right, get, uh, candle lights. I'm out here trying to get paid on these auditions, fam. I'm just saying. Once again, the, my, my audition money has been spent before I even booked the role. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with Veronica. We're gonna slowly walk past Bed Bath & Beyond. Slowly walk past, slowly walk past, slowly walk past. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now we're here. We're here, guys. Uh, cheese and rice. And cheese. Once again, guys, it never stops. Never stops. All right, citizens. First stop, Foot Locker. Foot Locker, first destination, bust. 
hopefully in our second, third destination we can find it. We'll see, guys. Are you optimistic about it? Not really. We're walking to Dick's Sporting Goods. Hopefully they have it. I mean, you can see how big this place is. Hopefully they have it, all right? Cross your fingers, cuz. Cross them. Okay, so Veronica and I have kind of come to the conclusion, because we're not seeing a bunch of Michigan stuff. Matter of fact, scratch that, we're not seeing any Michigan stuff. We come to the conclusion that if I don't find it, I should just end up getting like a blue t-shirt or something. Um, but that's not a good look, man. You want it to be branded. Uh, you want you want the casting directors to kind of buy into you and the character. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything. I mean, you guys see all these jerseys, everything on the wall back here? Y'all see that? Okay. None of it is Michigan. Um, I mean, all I'm gonna say is, stay tuned to Friday, citizens. Stay tuned till Friday. Okay, we were just told that there's absolutely no Michigan stuff in here. We're not really that surprised. We're just disgusted. Nevertheless, honey, uh, what's our plan B? Baby lips. Is, guys, listen. When I look in the mirror, I feel like my shoulders look just like this. I could be wrong. I mean, look at the arms. I, I feel like, I mean, shoulder, cu shoulders, cuz, chest muscles, cuz, abs. I think I got all that. Anyways, look at this. Look at this, man. This is how I look. God, look come on. Look at the, the shoulders, cuz, the width. Come on, man. All right, fam, bam. Anyways, couldn't find anything. We're looking for a blue shirt, plain blue shirt. And, oh, God, my girl's dancing. She is so hood. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, secure the bag. Right, let's go. Money bags out here. Spending it all, cuz. <laughs> Spending it all. You know what I'm saying? Charging it to the game. Charging it to the game, man. Charging it to the game. Out here, uh, Floyd Mayweather stacking cash. Wait, you guys, wait till we get in the car. and show you this top that I got. And Dustin, like, panicked in the store. What do you, okay, guys. She'll show you whatever she calls a top. This was not a top, cuz. Like, she wants to leave the house in draws. Straight up. Citizens, we are back in the car. Baby, let's promise you guys she would show you something. Indulge. So, we're in Urban, and the Urban that I normally go to in Hollywood, like, sold out of this in black. They only had the, um, the tan one. And so when we walked in, I peeped game right away when we walked in. And I was like, okay, if Dustin gets something, I'm getting that. So we found us in two things, which I'll show you. It's gonna turn into like a little urban hall in the car. That's Veronica's logic wherever we go. If Dustin gets something, I'm getting something. <laughs> <laughs> that is her logic ever. We have never been shopping and I got something and she didn't. However, nine times out of 10 when she shops, she gets stuff, I don't get a damn thing because like okay, that's babe. Veronica logic, okay? okay so Just anyway, so y'all know the dynamic of it. Anyway, they had these Adidas um, body suits. And so I come back up and I like throw this in our pile, right? Look how cute. It's like like a scoop neck and then it has like this low back and it's a bodysuit. Hold right? on, hold on. Show them, the, show them the bottom. You see the bottom? Cuz. So I put Cause. this up there. Cuz. And um, Dustin was like, uh, and he like looks over and you know like in the picture the girl's just wearing it, you know. Cuz I guess you could wear this as a bathing suit too. And um, he was like, "Where you? what are you getting that for? Where are you wearing that? Around the house, right? And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, whatever I got to say to get you to just pay for it. Whatever. <laughs> whatever I got to say? <laughs> what? So then when we're leaving, he's like, no, seriously, like, what's that for? You're really not going to wear that? Like, he really thinks that I'm going to, like, get up and get dressed and just put this on. And just like, that's my outfit for the day. I'm just gonna walk around. Like, when have you ever seen anybody walking down the mall? First of all, we live in, in LA. A we live in LA. I, I see that. That's not uncommon out here. It's not uncommon to see literally people walking around damn near naked. Like, I have become completely desensitized to TNA out here because it's everywhere. It's so cute. Like, you really could wear this as a swimsuit, but I'm gonna probably wear it as a bodysuit. I think it's so cute. Fellas, let me explain something to you. If you're at the register and you're ringing up stuff and you have, you know, you're about to buy some stuff and your girl runs up with this little one piece, one piece uh, gutum outfit on, because that's why I call them a gutum outfit, one piece gutum outfit, and like, you know, it's like it ain't nothing but top and crotch, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, ooh, I want this. Girl, where, you, where the hell are you wearing that to? You know what I'm saying? So I said around the house and he was like, oh, okay, cool. But then you could tell in his mind he was still like 
Right. Right. Like confused. Anyway. Well, I'm assuming because you bought all that bubble bath stuff that you're just going to be like swimming in circles in the bathtub with all that new bubble in bath swimsuit? in your new swimsuit. Because that's what that is. That's what that is. Anyway. Fellas, stop me if I'm wrong. What what do you think about this? I want my men to comment below. You wear that and then you put like pants on with it. It's like a shirt. You bought me other bodysuits before. I don't even remember. But Veronica's really good at like like right before the you know the the cashier clerk says a total she's real quick at like slipping something up there like real quick like real you know while I'm preoccupied slipping something up there you know what I mean like right before the car gets swiped when it's in the downward process she just slips something right under the little scanner real quick they toss it it's like a little relationship that her and the clerk have <laughs> that I'm not a part of anyways nevertheless anyways and then I found this really cool t-shirt for Dustin hold on hold on hold on citizens are y'all ready for this you know what I'm saying y'all know y'all boy was uh fine, divine, and all on time, but y'all know I was about this life. Here it goes. Show money. Dustin loves Dragon Ball Z, so I got him this. You got a hire. There you go. Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z. Yes. T-shirt. Show him the like, back. With the, this, like, green The dragon thing. collecting the balls. Yes, I'm telling you, man. Um, Big he loves this. Thumbs up if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan. I'm not the only person in this world. He loves Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Z. Ball Z. So, and when, I, when I seen the little... The little like man right here, I was like, oh, that's Dustin. Okay, that man is Goku. Okay, he's a, he's the last of a dying breed. Him and Vegeta, they're Super Saiyans. Okay? okay, nevertheless, nevertheless, guys, you know I'm not. You know I I pretty much love all anime, not just Dragon Ball Z, but I like pretty much grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. Anime is my it's my jam. He actually genuinely loves Dragon Ball Z. Genuinely. Um, and then I just got him this black T-shirt in case we can't find a Michigan shirt tomorrow i just got him like a plain t-shirt to wear yeah to his audition which is fine because the the t-shirt we got i'll show you guys it's um he lo like he has some other shirts this same exact cut he loves this t-shirt do you know i should get you like the real this is like a a dupe, a dupe for the uh rag and bone one and I've heard it's a really good t-shirt, so I might look and see if I can find it on sale. If I can, I'm gonna get it for him so you can try it and see if he really likes that one. Because if you do, then I'll get you that one. But anyway. The Rag and Bones are probably, not even exaggerating, potentially $100 more per shirt for their stuff. Same cut, like 100 bucks. Yeah, that's why I said I'll find it on 100 bucks a shirt, like, plus on top of what Urban has. Anyway, uh, one time, so, I, you guys, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I am addicted to online shopping, okay? And so... She's not lying, trust me. There's these rag and bone booties. I'll have to show them to you guys when I get back to the house that I've been wanting so bad. And I could talk about this freely now because... They're what? It's too late for Dustin to talk crap about it. Um, the rag and bone what? Booties. Okay. They're like rag and bone booties and I've been wanting them so badly. Me too. I've been wanting some booties real um, bad these days. They're so cute, but they are like, <laughs> I'm not even lying to you guys, they're like $500, okay? You bought some $500 rag and bone booties? Yes, however, I got them on sale. Cut. <laughs> cut. Cut. I got them on sale. Cut. Cut. No, babe, stop. I got them on sale. So this is how it happened. I was watching some haul videos on YouTube because I love watching haul videos and like fashion videos. And um, this girl started talking about, did this video about like shoes, like staple shoes to have. And she started talking about these ragged bone booties. So then I searched them in YouTube and I started watching all these videos about them. And I came across this girl that I started watching when she first, first started her channel and it's grown so much, so props to her. Anyway, she starts talking about how she has all these ragged bone booties, but she's never paid full price for them. And so I was like, yo, why don't I just Google them every day until I find them on sale? I'm not kidding you guys, I closed the browser, I Googled them, and guess what happened? I found one pair on the Revolve website for 50% off plus an additional 10% off, okay? It was the very last pair and it was in the exact size that I needed. Tell me that's not fake. And they're the slate gray color and I'm not joking, they are so comfortable. They're gonna replace these other boots that I have, these other booties that I have that I was obsessed with. But these are like so much better. They're so flattering. They are so, I'm gonna show them when we got home. I love them. So for the people that aren't mathematicians, uh, 
She found them for two. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say the price, but just just know she out here tripping, guys. You know what I'm saying? As soon as this camera goes off, it's a long conversation. <laughs> as soon as we hit the, the stop recording, there's a conversation we are about to have about money management, guys. That's about to go down in this car. So, uh, in the words of Kanye, I'm gonna let her finish. But you know what I'm saying? Don't don't. It's, well, she gonna hear it. She they're gonna hear it as soon as this goes off. They're so cute, you guys. I can't. Yes, I have to show them to you. So I'll show them to you as soon as we get home. What's up, guys? So we just got home, and as promised, I'm gonna show you guys these booties. Okay. So like I said, I got these from Rag and Bone. Actually, I got them off of Revolve, a website called Revolve. I don't shop on Revolve a ton because it's, it's like, I don't know. I say that, but I always look on it. But I don't often buy things from it. Um, but these babies right here are the booties. Now, to the naked eye, some of you are like, wow, really? That's it? Mm -mm. You say that because you don't understand. These are like the best booties I have ever put on my feet. I'm not joking. Like they are so comfortable. Like they they look perfect with like everything I've ever like I've ever tried them on with. I love them. I'm going to probably buy them in black, like all black. And then they also have this pair that's like brown, like a it's like it's like two-toned. They're so cute. So, um yeah, I'm definitely gonna get these. I'm gonna have these in two other colors. Um, the black ones are more tricky because I don't think they go on sale ever. And like, I just, I can't pay full price for these. I, I just can't. However, I have heard through the grapevine that they are often included in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. That sale happens either in July or August. Maybe it's like late July into August. Um, but I heard they sell out like really really quickly. So I'm definitely gonna be like All over that. So those are the boots um, Don't knock it till you try it if you are ever just like Some of you guys probably know they're the Margot booties like if you know then you know um, Those of you guys that don't know Don't knock it till you try it next time you're in Nordstrom just go over to the Women's shoe department say, hey, do you guys have the rag and bone Margot booties? And get them in a size bigger, one size up than what you normally get. Um, and just try them on. Just walk around in them. And then just let me know. Hey, no, no, no.